Welcome to the Liturgy of the Hours, a tradition of prayer whose origins date from the time of King David. The Liturgy of the Hours is the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God. This is morning prayer for Wednesday of the fourth week in Advent. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. The Lord, the mighty God, will come forth from Zion to set his people free. My heart is ready, O God. I will sing, sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations I will praise you, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. O come and deliver your friends. Help with your right hand and reply. From his holy place, God has made this promise. I will triumph and divide the land of Shechem. I will measure out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh. Ephraim I take for my helmet. Judah for my commander's staff. Moab I will use for my washbowl. On Edom I will plant my shoe. Over the Philistines I will shout in triumph. But who will lead me to conquer the fortress? Who will bring me face to face with Edom? Will you utterly reject us, O God, and no longer march with our armies? Give us help against the foe, for the help of man is vain. With God we shall do bravely, and he will trample down our foes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Accept the prayers of your servants, Lord, and prepare our hearts to praise your holy name. Come to our aid in times of trouble, and make us worthy to sing you songs of thanksgiving. The Lord, the mighty God, will come forth from Zion to set his people free. I shall not cease to plead with God for Zion until he sends his Holy One in all his radiant beauty. 
I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. For Zion's sake I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake I will not be quiet until her vindication shines forth like the dawn and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication and all kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more shall men call you forsaken or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight and your land espoused. For the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. I shall not cease to plead with God for Zion until he sends his Holy One in all his radiant beauty. The Spirit of the Lord rests upon me. He has sent me to preach his joyful message to the poor. My soul, give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days, make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that day come to nothing. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free, the Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down, the Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just but thwarts the path of the wicked, the Lord will reign forever, Zion's God, from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. God of glory and power, those who have put all their trust in you are happy indeed. Shine the brightness of your light on us, that we may love you always with a pure heart. The Spirit of the Lord rests upon me. He has sent me to preach his joyful message to the poor.
Again, the Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then he said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary men? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. He shall be living on curds and honey by the time he learns to reject the bad and choose the good. There is no need to be afraid. In five days our Lord will come to us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. There is no need to be afraid. In five days our Lord will come to us. To Jesus Christ, our Lord, who came among us in his mercy, let us constantly cry out with joy, Come, Lord Jesus. You came from the Father to take on our human nature, now set free what was harmed in us by sin. One day you will come again in glory to your chosen people. Come to us today and help sinners to recognize your mercy and tender love. We glory in praising you, Lord Jesus. Come and bring us your salvation. Through faith you lead us into light. May we reveal your justice through our deeds. Come, Lord Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear the prayers of your people. May we who celebrate the birth of your Son as man rejoice in the gift of eternal life when he comes in glory. For he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Wednesday of the fourth week in Advent. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas, and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents. Sacred music is provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God, the Liturgy of the Hours. <laughs>